How's it going guys? This is Double Wide 6 and this is a look at my pool. I've been taking care of my pool uh, on my own. So it's been a trouble free pool. And uh, I haven't been down at the pool store and I've been balancing it myself. I spent the four, first four years with my pool always running down to the pool store trying to figure out if I need pH up, pH down or shock it. And uh, this year I took control of my pool myself. So if you want to take care of your pool yourself, the first thing that you're going to need is a good test kit. This one here is a Taylor K-2006 Complete FAS DPD Chlorine Test Kit. Alright, this kit probably costs about 60 bucks. It'll last you at least a season and even more depending on... Um, how, how much you use it and also you can always buy the new reactants you don't have to buy a whole kit so if you run out of one reactant you can get it by mail so uh, those of you that use those test sticks that you dip in the water and they change color I used to use those I used those for four years straight they are the most difficult thing to use they're never accurate they get bleached out if you shock your water and uh, you never know what's going on um, it, it's just it's terrible trying to use them so you really got to get out and get yourself a good test kit so you can tell what the levels are your test kit is going to be more accurate than the computerized tests that they give you down at the pool store because this test is going to be dead on and you need a good kit that's why I recommend a Taylor kit All right, so the first thing that you want to do when you test your water is get a good sample. You're going to notice that I put my arm deep in the water and I'm going to stay away from my returns and I'm just going to take a, a nice sample of water. So what you want to do is you want to take your bottle and flip it upside down and form an airlock. Dip the bottle all the way down in the pool as deep as you can go and then let the bubbles out by tilting the bottle. That'll fill your bottle with water. Once it's filled you have a good sample. And you want to wait usually at least after the skimmer has been running for I'd say at least 45 minutes so that the water is all mixed up and you get a true sample. So to do our testing today, we're going to be using the Taylor K-2006 Complete FAS-DPD Chlorine Test Kit. Next test we're going to do here is for calcium hardness. So I'm going to take the sample and get rid of it. And we're just going to clean out our comparator with a little sample water. And we've got to fill up the large comparator to the 25 milliliter mark. Okay. So now that that's filled up, we're ready to go. So the calcium test is the blue vials. You're going to start out here with reactant number 10. And in order to do this test, uh, you need to add 20 drops of number 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Next step, you're going to add five drops of reactant eleven. One, two, three, four, five. And then you're going to swirl up the comparator. It should turn pink if you have calcium hardness. Then you're going to add reactant 12 drop wise and swirling after each drop. And you want to go until it changes from red to blue. So one drop, swirl it. Two, swirl it. Three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Still at thirteen. Just turn blue. So it took uh, 13 drops to turn our sample blue and what you do is you take 13 times 10 and that's going to be 130 parts per million and that's going to be our calcium hardness. If you have a vinyl pool you really don't have to worry about that too much but if you have a plaster or cement pool that's very important. So I'm double wide six and I have a whole bunch of uh, fix it and repair videos and pool testing videos. So please check it out, and I appreciate you watching, and feel free to post your questions. Have a great day.